Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Reba Fitness. And I am Reba. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you found me. I hope you enjoy what you see here and you like and subscribe at the end of this video. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to watch my videos and support me over the years. And it is, let's see, March, the beginning of March. It's March 7th today, actually. I'm not sure when I'll upload this video. Maybe it will be today, but if not, it will be in a day or so. And so I have my green on because I am an Irish girl and I love St. Patrick's Day and I love celebrating this holiday and uh, hopefully you guys do as well. So I'm going to do some yoga today. You may be out and about and uh, I just want to show you guys different things that you can do no matter where you're at or what you're wearing. And as you can see, I have on a skirt today and some green stockings and that should not be a deterrent because you should be able to work out in anything and oh look it still lights up i got this i think at the end of the season last year and it still lights up so i'll have to find a saint patrick's day party to go to and wear it at night hopefully it'll last that long it may stop in the middle of this video, I don't know. Anyway, lovelies, we are going to do some stretching today. All right, and we're gonna take some big deep breaths. So when I say deep, big deep breaths, I want you to inhale for a count of four, and then exhale for a count of six. Ready? And we are getting rid of all of that stale energy. Releasing the old and bringing in all the new fresh energy and expelling out all of the negativity from your life and just absorbing the positivity into your life. Okay? All right. So we're going to sit back here and stretch. Again, nice big inhale for four counts. Exhale for six. We're going to stretch to the side, the left side, and do the same thing. And to the right side. So we're just gonna come down a few inches and rock it back. Down for a few and rock it back. Rock it back. Now just rock back and forth. here and work on our back and a little bit of balance by taking opposite arm and opposite leg out. Hold. Ah. 
Hi, my buddy, Georgie. Hi there, sweet boy. Georgie came to work out with us. Isn't he sweet? And let's do the other side. So, my lovelies, as we get older, we need to work on balance, and we should include some type of balance in our workout every day, especially as we get older and we are taking care of our bodies and we want to live a good, long, ripe, to a ripe old age. We don't want to have a fit body, but then take one wrong step and tumble um, and then be out of commission for a couple of months because we took a fall. And so we want to make sure we work on balance, we work on our core. <clears throat> so that if we do take a wrong step, we're able to recover from that right away. And uh, we're not, we don't go down for the count. And I can't emphasize balance enough as we get older because so many people, <clears throat> You know, they'll spend time in the gym doing their cardio and their strength training, but they don't do stretching and they don't do balance activities, balance exercises. And uh, we really should be working on that as well as we get older. Mm. So that we are able to have that balance. And um, I'll start incorporating more and more of those into, I've always tried to work on balance for the most part, but now, you know, I kind of got away from it for a little while, but I'm really remembering to get back into it again. <clears throat> Let's do those balance exercises again. One arm, opposite leg. Now, all right, and let's go ahead and do a couple of cat cows while we're here.
That feels so good. And see, that's all we need to do. If we can just do a little bit of balance, a little bit of stretching every day, it's going to help you live a good, long, healthy, fun, vibrant life. And that's what it should be all about, right? Um, think about what it is that you want to be doing for the rest of your life and focus on things of that nature that are gonna help you get to that till the end of your life. Maybe you want to be dancing, maybe you want to be playing golf, maybe you want to be hiking, maybe you want to be traveling, maybe you want to just be able to lift up things like your grandchildren from the floor or to be able to get up from the floor. So think about the things that you want to do for the rest of your life, but remember, it's so important to do stretching and to work on some balance every day as we get older because like I said, you don't want to take a chance of you know, staying healthy and fit and active, which I definitely encourage you all to do, but take one long step or stumble or tumble and not be able to recover quickly because you don't, you haven't been working on your balance over the years and then you're injured and you're not able to go to the gym and you sit around and just get weaker and weaker and your mind and your body starts to deteriorate and you go downhill very quickly.